Ooh, it's Halloween. It's the trade deadline. It's Tim. It's your Giants trade talk. Powered by online Big Blue LLC. The trade deadline has come and gone. And it looks like the only thing that we have done is uh, get rid of Leonard Williams and move on from King of the Almost Sack. In the process, we also created uh, almost $9 million in cap space because the Giants only had about 500000 The $9 million should be enough, hopefully, barring injuries or other issues, to get us through the remainder of the season because, like I said, we only had about 500000 in operational cap space, and that ain't enough, guys. I think we learned back in 2022 we went, when we did not have the capability of fielding a 53-man roster because of the fact that we didn't have enough cap space. Shane does not want to go down that Primrose path. Um, so the trade deadline is come and gone. You never expect the NFL trade line is not like the major league baseball trade line or even the NBA trade line. You don't expect a lot of the blockbuster moves. We did see some moves with Montez sweat and chase young, uh, moving out of wash away from the Washington commanders. Um, but we didn't say much else really. That was really going to think affect us. And I laugh because I look at this roster I look at the talent around it. I look at the salary cap and I look at the Leonard Williams trade and and I still have no freaking clue what Joe is doing. And it's not up to me to understand what Joe's doing. Joe's got a plan. Joe's got his, his, his initiative that he is going to push forward and move through and sally forward through, but I don't get it. If you look at the roster, you look at the schedule, you look at where we are now, I'm saying maybe we can win an additional three games. I'm thinking, I think this is could potentially be a five win team. I think if you take, if you're honestly looking at the remaining games of the schedule, um, where some teams are at, if we get hot, if, if certain things break our way, I think we could win. I think we can win maybe three games, maybe four. So you're looking at a six win team. Are you bringing back Xavier McKinney? Is, is this going to be another Landon Collins situation where we don't get anything in return? For McKinney, we just let him walk because of the fact that Joe Shane's pretty much said he's not going to, he's not negotiating with McKinney. He can't negotiate McKinney because he doesn't have the salary cap for space right now to give him any additional money really in this year. So are we going to, are we going to let him move on? Same thing with the Dory Jackson. Are we letting Dory Jackson leave next year? Now I know the injury complicated the trade more any type of facilitating any type of trade, even additionally, but are, are we moving on from a Dory Jackson this, next year and getting nothing? Then you look at Saquon Barkley. You have a, you still have a disgruntled running back who you have not signed, who you could potentially go through the same fiasco that we went through last year with him not signing, with him signing, with you not giving him a deal, with you giving him the deal. So are we are we really going to head down that path again? And I know it would have been difficult to trade Barkley because of the fact that he's technically your offense. He he's he he is he is not only the engine, he is the tires, he is the chassis, he is the muffler, and he is everything in between that makes this giant offense or like we refer to it as an offense sometimes, makes that offense go. But there was no takers, there was no there was no deal that could have been had for someone such as a Saquon Barkley. You couldn't move a Darius Slayton. You couldn't move a Sterling Shepard. Hell, you couldn't get out from underneath Paris Campbell, who's probably going to be gone anyways. Who's who's been relegated to the bench? You couldn't get a fifth or sixth, maybe or seventh round pick for him. Clear out some more cap space. See what some more of these. You know, let's let's give more reps to Hyatt and uh, Wondell Robinson. The only thing not trading Barkley tells me is probably you're drafting a quarterback next year. Because what's the best thing to have for a young quarterback, especially if you're going to play him? as a rookie or maybe not play him extensively, but give him some time as a rookie is to have a solid running game. You know, you're not going to, you couldn't move on from Waller because of the hamstring. I understand that, but there are other moves that could have been made that could have cleared the roster a little bit, gave you a little bit more additional cap space. I said, the only thing that we did with Leonard Williams is we basically bought a second rounder and a fifth rounder because of the fact that we picked up the majority of his salary, the remainings of his salary. We pay, we're paying for the, we're paying for the majority of it. I mean, all we do is clear $9 million in cap space. Is Leonard Williams, you know, going to be a cog to this team? Well, if you truly think he is a huge part of this defense and they helps open up things for both Dexter Lawrence and Kayvon Thibodeau, you might've made a mistake going with, going with the nacho 
maybe seeing Jordan Riley again. You know, maybe do you know, running a little bit more of the A Sean. So it, it's perplexing to the fact that I don't know if I never think a team is tanking, but I don't know. <laughs> I I wish I, I wish I knew what I mean. He's ne- Joe Shane's never going to come out and say it. there's they're never going to say there's a clear, concise plan. But there's so many mixed signals now with this organization. I I always go back to the Daniel Jones contract, 160 million dollars. We're going to give this guy 160 million dollars because he he had an average NFL season, a little bit below average. But we're, it's only going to be like 90 million, and we're going to do it because he only had one healthy season. But we're not going to pay Saquon Barkley, who's turned out to be the total focal point of the offense, who has had all pro seasons and still had an injury history. But we are still going to give Daniel Jones more money, and we're going to piss off Saquon Barkley because we're going to run through the. If you don't sign Saquon to a contract, and you're going to sign him to, and this is the other thing that's perplexing to me, you're going to sign him now to a. If if you do, you're going to sign him now to a three year deal as he's a year older. Things that make you go. Mm. I didn't think they were going to do much of the trade deadline. I thought they were going to move on from Leonard. Only thing, only thing I'm going to miss about Leonard, of course, is King of the Almost Sack. Because he's really been a above average player since he signed that big contract. You know, if, we, if we can all be honest about this, the run defense has not gotten any better. He's not getting any sacks. People will say, I love it again. Will be, he does the little things on paper that you can't quantify statistically. Ooh. I love it that we signed Tommy DeVito to the 53 man roster. We got him to the 53 man roster. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I really don't get it. I really don't. We haven't brought in a quarterback yet. Wednesday's tomorrow. <laughs> Lord knows if Daniel Jones goes down with a neck injury again against the Raiders. Let's see. Let's see if Crosby wrecks him. Let's see what happens then. We're going to have to see the Tommy DeVito show again. I don't think I can deal with that. I reached a point now where I may watch the first half of the Raider game. See how it goes before I even continue on the rest of the game because I got better things to do than waste my time because we made fun of Joe judge. We made fun of Gettleman. We've made fun of everyone else, but we're, we're just, we're just, we're just kind of go. We're just kind of floating around right now. We're kind of, we're kind of in the, what is it? The ether or the atmosphere or the ether sphere or whatever the hell it's called. I forget what it's called in science. We're kind of just floating around right now. How much longer can this go on? Hopefully we're going to figure out that. Hopefully we're going to figure out a plan. Hopefully we're going to figure out an offense and hopefully Joe Shane's got the master plan for 2024 because the 2023 plan got totally blown up. Let's hope the second half of the season, not really the second half, but let's hope the second half of the technically the second half of the season gets better. I see like three wins, maybe four, if we're lucky. We'll kind of go from there. And again, don't forget the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know why. That'd be awesome.